click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for watching more update videos thank you Assalamu alaikum friends this is Sami and you are watching civil engineers youtube channel dear friends in this video lecture today i'm going to show you here they water the basic of bar bending schedule many student they are asking this kind of question that what are the important points for the bar bending schedule or what are the basic of bar bending schedule when we want to make the bar bending schedule for column beam slab anything so what are the basic for that so this is the important topic for those students which were asking this question so watch this video to end then you will be able that what are the basic for bar bending schedule if you need the article about this in written form then you are able to visit my website www.civilglobal.com okay so if you need the article okay in written form then you can read the article also okay so must visit to my website www.civilglobal.com or the link is in the description of this video article okay the link is in the description for this video okay you must visit there then you will be able but don't forget to like and subscribe this channel because this is the important channel for all civil engineers let's start so basic of bar bending schedule so the first one we have a crank off bar so when you want to make the bar bending schedule for the beam so keep in your mind one thing that what is crank off bar okay because here are many points so we have to clear it okay so this is crank off bar first of all crank length okay and beam right at the end we uh, provide the crank length so what will be the length of crank length okay from here to here this point from this point to this point what will be the length okay how we can calculate the crank length okay and bar bending schedule so for that we use the formula ld L is length of beam or span for the beam L okay and D dia of those steel which you are using in this beam okay so dia of this beam which you are using okay LD so it will give you the length or crank length okay and the other things so uh, you have also this one okay from this one also okay how we can get the length for this okay so also you can use the formula 0.42 d okay 0.42 d d is a die of this one still and this is the constant value for this and keep in your mind when you want to use this kind of band and beam okay so you must keep the angle 45 degree okay here and also here right so this is the first basic for bar bending schedule and the other one we have a lapping length okay our overlapping length you can also say okay so this is the tension member and this one is a compression member this one okay so it means we can provide this in a slab and a beam okay when we uh, uh, provide the lapping length okay and when you want to provide uh, the compression length in column okay because these are the compression okay because this is the column and this is special for the beam or slab right okay so uh, lapping length you can get so this is the one steel okay and this is the other one steel okay so this is the lapping length from this point to this point this is called lapping length okay so you can find the lapping length with the formula which is 40 d 40 is the constant value for this and d is a dia of steel which you are using here okay dia of this steel which you are using in column sorry uh, in slab or beam okay for compression member okay so this is the uh, tension member and this is the compression member okay so for compression member this is the column okay F suppose this is the column right so this is the one steel this is the other one bar okay so our lapping length will be here same like this okay so you can use the formula for that 50d dia of this steel 
okay n50 is a constant for this so look at here you can get this length from this point to this point okay lapping length for the uh, compression member 50d you can use right so this is the also lapping length second uh, basic for bar bending schedule this is also too much important okay and the other one we have a bent length okay so this is the column okay and uh, and the and the base of the column we provide the bend okay so that bed length uh, band length we can get with the formula of this one okay so when we uh, this is the column and this is the band okay this is also band right in column footing mostly it's used okay so this band length we can get with the formula of 16 d okay 16 a constant value for that and d is a die of that steel which you are using in the column okay too much important also this one and band length also we have a other one uh, i've already uh, done the lecture about this one okay hooks length that how we can good, uh, get this one okay so already uh, we can use uh, this uh, hook lengths uh, we can use uh, uh, in the column and a beam uh, and stirrups okay so these are the stirrups okay it means that how we can calculate the quantity of stirrups or how how we can get the cut length for the stirrup okay so actually we have here the hooks one hooks this one and second one hook is this one and these are steels right keep in your mind these points okay so remember that these are two hooks okay so we can uh, find out the hooks length with the formula of 90 okay d is a dia of stirrup okay because this is a stirrup dia okay we use the steel but this steel is a, in a stirrup okay in this one this is the column uh, clear cover okay concrete cover or clear cover uh, sorry concrete cover okay so we use the formula 9d okay so 9 is a constant and d is a die of stirrup okay a die of stirrup steel okay this steel die right not this one because these are the length these are the main bars for the column okay not this one this one okay this one steel dia we can use here okay and keep in your mind that we have to use the angle okay we have bent the bar with the 130 degree this is the too much important point okay now uh, we have uh, the other one this is uh, uh, also uh, provide we can provide it uh, uh, in uh, footing column footing and also in beam okay so we can get this length okay this one so with 10 d okay 10 d we can get this length okay this is also uh, in band length right so if you want to uh, find out the two hooks length so you can use two okay to multiply 9 d okay d is a die of stirrup and 9 is a constant two one hook is this one and second one is this one okay so this is the important topic for today that what are the basic or important point for the bar bending schedule for more videos you must like this video and subscribe this channel and don't forget to visit my website www.civilglobal.com and the link is in the description if you want to read the article about this video thank you all the best bye